Traditionally, the Sinaix people were known as hunter-gatherers. That means that they would travel to hunt and to gather their food. And then they would come back in the winter to their permanent villages, one of which was the village that I talked about in Big Eddy. And uh, But in the summer, in the, in the fall, they would travel throughout their territory and gather uh, berries. They loved huckleberries. They would gather other plant materials. There's a lot of natural roots and... Uh, and other plants that they would use both for foods and for medicine. And uh, they hunted and they fished. At that time, there, before all the dams were built on the river, salmon would come up the river. And salmon was a really important food for the, the Sinaix people. They uh, had dogs that uh, they, they kept, the little dogs. And the dogs were, were trained to hunt with them. The, 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 Dogs would actually uh, go in and chase the deer towards where the hunters were. So they were really helpful. Sometimes the hunters would actually be in their boats in the water and the dogs would herd the deer in, into the water where it was easier for the, the hunters to, uh, to, to uh, kill the, the deer. And uh, they would use the meat and the hide and the fat and all of the parts of, of the deer and other animals that they were catching. Their mode of transportation in the water was uh, uh, canoes. They had two kinds of canoes. They had dugout canoes, which is just like it sounds. They would dig out the inside of a big tree. But they were also known for these canoes that were called sturgeon nose canoes. And they're called sturgeon nose canoes because the nose there looked like the long, narrow nose of a sturgeon, which is a very big fish. We have a picture in the museum of a sturgeon that's about this tall, way over my head. Uh, so that's what they, they called their boats. They were really good for boats for running swift water and for getting into the banks of, of the rivers as they were traveling. And you can see this one fit three people and a dog and probably a lot of their belongings as well.